In this video, we're gonna be using the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Pineapple Bay Rum and the Ascension Copper Twist Adjustable Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. And if it's your first time here, thanks so much for you joining. I uh, hope you'll consider subscribing below. Okay, as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Pineapple Bay Rum which is, in my opinion, one of the better Bay Rum scents that I've ever tried. It is a sweet, um, mostly you get the Bay type scent, Bay Rum, um, but you don't get the clove. So this does not have clove in it, which a lot of people are opposed to in Bay Rums. They just don't like the clove. This one has a beautiful mixture of the Bay Rum and pineapple. Overall sweet, really good scent strength. I would call it about seven out of 10. Um, it comes to you for $14.95 for four ounces and on our cost chart, that is a good price of $3.73 uh, per ounce. This is the Tokum formula by PAA. I'll put the ingredients right there for you and it contains some good stuff like cocoa butter, shea, and you could read the, the rest of the ingredients for yourself. One of the things I like about this is on the tubs where um, Douglas has sort of the translucent tubs, he also has clear label so it's not a white label on that and i just noticed this today it's a nice touch i think um in the label that clear label with the black writing i really like that uh, also we use the chill mill which is menthol and it's like a salt or pepper grinder you saw the menthol falling out there um, I, I put a little bit of that in there because i want to get some cooling going i'm going to use the uh, paa switchback 400 uh, with the AP Shaveco Sinbad Knot. I really love these long handed, handled brushes. And today we're gonna go with the first time, we're gonna use the Ascension Double Open Comb. This is a twist adjustable razor, which is pretty unique in my opinion. And I like that it came in this piece of foam. Uh, so you, you can put the razor, I'll go ahead and put it back in there and show it to you. And this little piece, goes over the, and protects the handle and keeps it from falling out. I think that's nicely done. That's a nice bit of packaging, in my opinion. This is a copper razor. Actually, it's a copper silver alloy, a CNC machined. And as of right now, they're not in stock, but I will reach out to Douglas and um, find out when he plans to get more or if he has more on order. The first time I've ever tried it, it's a beautiful open comb design. And as you know, Douglas was, was one of the first to bring back, if not the first, to bring back the open comb design, the double open comb, I should say, not just open comb razors because he really loves these double open comb razors. And on the bottom, it says Phoenix DOC for double open comb. And what's unique about this razor is you can loosen it and it takes some torque off the blade and makes it, I imagine, less efficient or you can torque it down and it puts more torque on the blade and makes it more efficient, or at least I think that's the way it works. We'll find out uh, as we go. Nice razor. Again, this was sent to me by Douglas for evaluation, so I did not pay for this razor. So please take that into consideration if you wish. I always tell you when something is sent to me for evaluation and this razor was. Um, overall, it looks nice. I would say the knurling is not 100% perfect. You can see like if you move it around, Maybe every now and then you might see a, a slight little blemish, but it's nothing that's eye-catching. If you look at it, I would just say it's not 100% perfect. Every now and then you'll see just a little blip or something, um, but it's it's good. It is very grippy, and that is the purpose of knurling. But you're not going to get knurling that is absolute perfection, like say on the Rex Envoy. It is not at that level of perfection, is what what I'm getting at. Not bad by any stretch but not like the Rex. Okay, enough blabbing. Let's put this razor to use. Again, copper, good heft to it. Really nice. I'm looking forward to trying this for the first time. So let's roll with some PAA Pre-Shave Q to start things off. And we'll use our Glen Helly Mister. Uh, today, a little under 24 hours growth, but you can see, you can see it's there. And we'll see how this Ascension razor handles handles it. I have used the um, Doc Razor, the old Doc um, double open comb, the initial offering he had with the really short handle years ago. And I did like the razor, but I didn't care that much for the handle um, personally. But we'll see how this one goes. 
And whoo, whoo, great scent on this. If you like Bay Rum, I would say this about, when it comes to Bay Rum, there are two companies that, that come to mind and stand out above most others. Um, Captain's Choice and PAA. Those are your two, as I see it, in my opinion, kings of Bay Rum. They have lots of different scents in Bay Rum. Douglas has a good number of them. Captain's Choice has like sandalwood that has a Bay Rum type scent to it. They have lime. They have, they also have a good number of Bay Rum based type things. So look to Phoenix or, or Captain's Choice, I think, when it comes to Bay Rum. I know there are others too, but those are the two that come to mind for me and who have the most variety, I think. All right. As you can see, no problems <laughs> lathering with the pineapple bay rum. This one is sweet. And so if you've been one of those people that you're kind of resistant to bay rum because of that clove, maybe try this one. Um, I bought this one for that reason. And I'm going to end up buying the uh, aftershave as well because I really like the scent. So when I opened the tub for the unboxing, I was like, yes. <laughs> All right. Let's see how we do today with the Ascension. Very nice, smooth there in the first few strokes. The blade is Astra SP. Feels very nice. Uh, it doesn't feel to me overly aggressive or threatening in any way. Um, I've got this torqued down pretty good. And to me, it still feels in the mild spectrum. I wouldn't call it, you know, aggressive by any stretch. But then again, when it comes to aggression these days, because I'm using straight razors and shavettes, predominantly. Um, my feelings about what's aggressive has probably been skewed a little bit. And I think we all need to, to think about that when we're using safety razors, when we're coming off a steady diet of uh, straight razors. Because once you use open blades a lot, nothing, safety razors generally don't feel that aggressive because you're used to having an open blade on your skin. So anything with a safety bar Generally, it's going to feel more mild in comparison. So this to me feels, it is not extreme mild. I would call it probably when it's clamped down far end of mild towards medium, maybe medium. Um, not sure, but it's doing a good job and it feels really smooth. These teeth, some people have problems with open comb teeth. These teeth are not sharp. I should be very careful not to cut my finger, but... These teeth are very smooth and not sharp, unlike some razors. And I've had some teeth uh, on razors that just felt sharp themselves. And they don't feel good on your face. Um, this particular razor, I would say, and they're bent down at a very, very good angle. They're not sticking out straight or almost straight as some open comb razors are. And so, nice first pass. The razor felt really uh, smooth, uh, enjoyable. Really, really nice first pass. So we'll call that one quite enjoyable. Enjoyable, And again, um, I did IM Douglas, but he's in a different time zone. And so I don't know if these Ascension razors are coming back in stock soon, but I will, um, when I find out, I'll make a comment. Or so if you want to follow me on uh, Twitter or go to my IMCDB Facebook page or Instagram, when I find they are in stock, I will let you know. Uh, because I know when I did the unboxing for this, a lot of people were like, oh, it's not in stock. And I'm like, well, I'm sorry. You know, um, I assume it will be getting more. Whew. Each time I start to just work my lather a little bit. Oh man, really nice. Really nice. I love this Bay Rum set. Again, clove free. Sweet, you know me, I sort of like sweet scents. So this Bay Rum is, will definitely be, if not my favorite one of, but I'm thinking that this is probably one of the best, bay, might be the best Bay Rum scent for me based on my scent preference, which can vary dramatically from yours. You may be someone that likes a lot more spice and clove in there and that's okay. But for the people who don't, maybe this is one. But I will say, you don't get a ton of pineapple, so don't expect this to be like uh, someone sliced 
a pineapple and slapped you across the face with it. That's not, you're going to get primarily the bay rum scent. And then you'll get some sweetness from the pineapple, or at least that's what I get. And I know sometimes uh, Douglas will say, your nose is broken, not to me necessarily, but you know, because he knows when he's designing a scent what it's supposed to smell like. But the thing you have to consider is we don't all perceive scents the same way. And so keep that in mind. Okay. So as we're going a little more across there, it's still feeling great, feeling very smooth. The razor has good heft to it. This handle is fairly beefy and long for my preference. Uh, I wish it was about, I wish maybe the total length. If you took this knob and made it up here, that would be perfect for me, but I do like it all the same. It's a uh, smooth shaver so far. Feeling very smooth. For me, not the least bit threatening in any way. This is not one of those razors where I feel like, you know, I'm in some jeopardy of cutting myself. Let's loosen that up a little bit just to see. And so I don't know if you can see that. Nah, the camera won't focus, but when you loosen it up, the ray, the blade comes up more this way a little bit. So let's see how that feels. Oh yeah, you can tell a difference, huh? Yeah. Can definitely feel the difference. Let me put it back because I think I prefer it torqued down. So that's the design of the razor where you can twist it and sort of get it to the sweet spot for you. And you can uh, um, experiment with that. Um, on most DEs, I'll go for the most, um, like if they have plate offerings, I'll usually go for the most aggressive or at least, you know, say if they have six settings, I'll go five, six, because that's just what I prefer in my shaves. Um, but you may not, and so that's entirely okay. But really nice, um, smooth, well-built. It feels very robust. I'll tell you that. Um, the original doc, it was so light. It was almost almost off-putting to me. But this one is like, if, if you use the double O comb razor from Phoenix, and you just found that you liked the shave it provided, but the... The weight just wasn't there for you you might want to go for this one because this one is built like a tank i mean it's it's got some good heft to it which i tend to enjoy a little bit of heft in my razors oh man beautiful beautiful bay rum scent this is good stuff here now i didn't get the aftershave yet but i will be getting that i'll probably make an order today and by the way happy sunday everybody i'm shooting these videos a little bit ahead because I had some stuff already captured. So if it seems like the, the timeliness of this is maybe off a little bit, it is. I will say this, as you know, if you've seen my outdoor videos, I had planned on being camping this weekend. And I went up Tuesday and um, I quickly had to return Wednesday because the, the river flooded. That turned out to be a blessing because the forecast is for Laura to dump a bunch of rain in that very area as it's coming up through. And so it would have been far worse with everything, you know, the river was never going to be right. Even if I had stayed to say, well, maybe this will pass and the river will go down. Not with this rain, not with the rain. So it's kind of a blessing. All right, final pass. It's a nice razor. So thank you, Douglas, for allowing me to try it. Uh, as always, folks, I'm not trying to sell you things here. So use your best judgment on what you think about this razor based on what I say. Uh, and more importantly, your own independent research. Watch other videos, read, you know, articles, review, whatever you want. Make your own decisions. I'm not asking you to purchase these things. But if you do, I hope you enjoy them. And I do use affiliate links for the products that are available, so it does help the channel, but I don't ask you to do that. So I always like to make that clear. People do support the channel and I'm always appreciative, but I don't want anybody spending money that they either they don't have or they didn't want to spend 
you know, just because, just for my sake, um, you know, buy the products you want to buy. And it doesn't matter if it's th this razor or this soap or, or another vendor that I show you on this channel. Always buy what you like and what you think will work for you in the best way possible. Because I certainly cannot guarantee that this razor or this soap will be a hit for you, especially soap scents, because it's so subjective. But I will say that PAA over the years has worked hard in the community. They're always there when people need them, when there's a charity, when there's an event. Um, you know, they had some initial troubles and look, who hasn't? I've had mine, you know. Um, but in my opinion, They've worked hard to overcome those initial stumbles, just as I have worked hard to overcome some of the goofy things <laughs> that I've done in, in both in my life and in the hobby. And so always uh, consider that as my recommendation because I, I say this often, I know it's like a broken record, but where would we be without forgiveness, you know? I would say that Douglas and Fran are not people who are out there crapping on other vendors, crapping on customers. And so think about that and, you know, take it into consideration if you wish. Totally up to you. But I think they've done a good job. And it's not because it's not the doesn't have anything to do with the fact that he sent this razor for me to check out. It's just it just is. Because I'm telling you, if something happens tomorrow and there was a charity or something and I reached out to them, bam, they would be in. And there are plenty of other people who have asked them who don't have a presence, a large presence in the community, and bam, they're in. And obviously there's a limit as to what they can do. But I think they've done a great job, you know, being good stewards of the community over the last number of years. So just my opinion for whatever it's worth. Okay, let me rinse. We'll come back. We'll get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we're back with the the PAA alum with dry dock, no stinging whatsoever. So that was a very smooth shave. Now this also was sent to me by evaluation, for evaluation, I should say. And I've been trying this for about the last month um, and it's working well, no stinging. So that was super smooth. The idea here is that the dry dock allows the alum to dry so it doesn't get so crusty and the water doesn't continue to dissolve the alum. So, so far it's working well. Let me rinse this and we'll get to the aftershave. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with our Lancaster. That was a smooth, nice, enjoyable shave. We'll hit it real quickly with the Thayer's Magic because it's made by witches. And then we're gonna follow up with a little Cold Spices by uh, PAA, just to get some more of that menthol uh, going cold spices. We'll get that in just a second. Okay, so today we used the Ascension Twist Adjustable Razor CNC Machine Copper. Really nice, robust. To me, it still feels in the mild spectrum, maybe the far end of mild um, towards medium, but not at all. Um, not at all anything that you would be worried about in terms of being too aggressive, at least in my opinion. For me, it's not too aggressive. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but really nice shaver, um, really nice smooth combs on it. Nothing that's, uh, nothing that feels off-putting at all. Just really nice and smooth. We, and that was sent for evaluation. The PAA Switchback 400 was not. <laughs> Nor the, the chill mill or the, the aftershave or the pre-shave cubes or the soap. <laughs> so just to keep that Keep those things separate. All right, here we go. Cold spices, which is gonna smell like uh, Old Spice. It's a good, it's a good approximation or a good version of the old Old Spice, the one with the juice. Oh yeah, great classic scent. A little methylation in there. This is a great uh, set as well. Cold spices, one that I really enjoy. Well, that folks was an enjoyable shave. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, CDB, and I'm reminding you, it's your shave. <laughs> it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless you.